Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Main event. Tonight is one thing I want to get off my checklist. These wastegates have no manifold reference. Let me see. Let me flip around my screen so I can see. They have no manifold reference. There is no boost controller connected of any sort. There is no fittings in the gates, and the gates have unknown springs in them. So we're going to pull one gate, bench test it, make an educated choice on what we want to put in as a wastegate spring, and reinstall it, and then see if I have the hardware for hooking up references and the electronic boost controller that I hope to run with the Holly system. So that's where we are, that's where we're gonna go, and we're gonna explain it all as we do. So, I mean, I might as well just let this thing roll and grab a 10 mil and some sort of weird sized Allen key. So let's grab this guy, I believe it's a 10. And, uh, I'm not sure what size Allen key that is. Let's try this one. This one is way big. That's my 10 mil ratchet. This is this tiny guy right here. You guys have that friend that can that knows what size everything is by looking at it? <clears throat> Does everybody know that guy? Uh, that's not me. That's not me. Let's just clear the air quick. Holy crap, it's still not right. Everybody has a friend that's like, oh, that's a 9 16 They just know. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take the top gate off, and then I might even make dump tubes while I do this. Is this not, can you not fit that? We need a wrench. Can't fit a socket over it, it's too tight. No light over here. Let's get a Larry. You guys familiar with Big Larry? Here's all the tips come pouring in for you. You guys don't have a Nebo flashlights. Big Larry. It's got high, low, and uh, emergency distress. These are incredible lights, and they have a magnet. Listen how strong. Listen how strong the damn magnet is. They're incredible. Not going anywhere. Confidence inspiring magnet. Alright, let's see if we can get this on here. I did this from underneath last time. Maybe I need a smaller 10. This guy has no clue what he's doing. He's a joke. Uh, what I should have done is gotten an Allen key that fit a 3 8 ratchet and then put the 10 mil on. Oh well, we're too far down the rabbit hole right now for it to matter. <coughs> you work on something for the 30th time see now if you would install these from the top uh, you would put the nut and the bolt on the top and you flip the thing around so you don't kill yourself but I did it from the bottom so I have to take it apart from the top okay we'll take the nut off promptly drop it on the ground take the lock washer off all these parts. Let's pick up that nut. Where'd it come? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. 
Don't worry about it. So we got the fire ring in there. We got the wastegate off. And then what we're gonna go do now is, uh, well, we'll just bench the thing over here on the car, nearly. We'll hook up the, uh, I'll be right back. I'll get my air hoses and stuff hooked up. Okay, so we have the wastegate off. We got it sitting here on the rad support. I got a low pressure, high resolution regulator here for testing things like this and map sensors and other things. And what I like to do is we hook this guy up and we start applying some pressure and then we see where the spring moves. Oh, it's very low, good. I'll probably just run very low for now. We can always put shop air on the top. About five pounds, you can start to move this thing with your hand, which is basically where the back pressure is gonna push it open. So say about five pounds makes this, what I say, buoyant. And then, because your wastegate, you know, hardly ever is gonna be wide open. It's wide open at 10, and it's about buoyant at five pounds. So if you hook this up right now, it'll make about five pounds of boost. I think I put low springs in this originally, but that's a nice confirmation, right? So, knowing that, we test the other one to see if it cracks at five pounds. And if it does, then we're basically set. They're both nice and even. You don't have to worry about it. And the spring pressure is good, and you can go from there, and I can start. I have like no, I had to scrounge for this fitting right here so I gotta buy a whole bunch of fittings to hook up my waste gates so we'll see what I come up with for that I always want to run that plastic push lock stuff but it just melts every car I put on the dyno with that stuff it melts so uh, I'm cautious to use it especially it'll all be above the hot side piping where it'll just oven bake and melt so don't know if I want to do it but anyway, there's a quick tip for you. Okay, so I had just enough hose and fittings laying around to connect the wastegates. So what this is, is a reference from the manifold that used to go to a brake booster. This car is manual brakes, so no booster. And I got this guy on a T fitting and it's going to the bottom of this gate and the bottom of the other gate and then the two tops are connected together and then this is where when I get to the dyno I can just add pressure to the top this makes it way easier than trying to figure out what spring you want or how much boost you want to run whatever you guys have seen me do that at least the people that watch a bunch of my videos when I'm tuning something a lot of times I'll just hook up shop air to the top and I can do whatever I want then so even if the, if the boost is low and we max out a boost controller or whatever, we can shove 50 pounds on top and get what we want. So that's what I'm gonna set it up like for now. We're gonna see what kind of power it makes and everything else. The only other thing I want to do is I'm just gonna wire the transmission cooler and then we probably will end up just making some preliminary hits and seeing how the combo does. And then from there on, It'll be like cage and all the little stuff, but I'm pretty eager to see what numbers it puts down. So is Mark. I'm sure a few of you would be interested too. So that's how we're going to see like if the combo and everything's in, moving in the right direction, if the motor's healthy, everything else. So that's what we're going to do. Maybe by the end of the week, maybe in two weeks, have it on the roller and get some preliminary hits done. See what kind of boost we make.